Yo, Joe-ish. Let's go. Geeks was popping. We're here with the Action Force Sergeant Slaughter from Valverse. That's an action figure from a line of third party military figures, and Valverse has been knocking it out of the park with them. I'm not getting mixed up in it because I'm already collecting enough lines, but I had to grab this Sergeant Slaughter since we don't actually have one in hand from G.I. Joe Classified yet. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Oh, they even come with the bio cars on the back like the old school G.I. Joes. You can see the rest of this wave here. I really like the scarabs, and I'm trying to resist not getting those, but I might have to get one. Nice portrait there. Top of the box with the peekaboo window. Comes with a nice plain insert so you can take pictures. He's not lacking in the accessory category. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra hands. You got a fist, you got a gripper hand, pointing hand, not sure what that one is, turn to the side, another fist, another gripper hand, and that one's turned to the back so you can't see. He ships with two trigger fingers, he's got a grenade launcher, he's got one honking pistol, some sunglasses, and a hat. He also comes with a diorama sand, and a backpack, and a vest. He's well dressed. Alright, so nice, when you take him out of the plastic, there is a sticky sheet of plastic here to prevent all the accessories from popping out when you start pulling stuff out of the box. Good work there, Valverse. Oh, didn't see this. This was down by his feet. Must have fallen. Woo, when they're all laid out like that. Man, you get your money's worth. <whistles> there he is. Let's take a moment to bask in all of his military runway worthy glory. Keith Lee. Can't forget the Action Force Diorama Base. I was playing around with his different looks. First things first, sunglasses. Those arms are very, very fragile, so be careful with them. 
they bend and they feel like they'll snap off. So first thing out the box, put those things to the side if you don't want to break them and be very careful when you put them on. This vest, while I dig it, it doesn't look good on him or at least I don't think it looks good on him. It's a little bit too gung ho. When you throw this hat in, oh, there go the glasses. You throw in this hat and the grenade launcher, it just kind of feels like a cheap gung-ho ripoff. And no, I'm not saying the action figure is cheap, I'm just using that word. So I probably won't be making use of this hat and that vest because to me that's not Sergeant Slaughter. I'll use that for somebody else. And keep in mind, this is Sergeant Slaughter version two. Version one came with sleeves. I'm actually glad, I bought version two by mistake, I didn't even realize it was a second version. I had it on pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store and then I saw this came in stock at Dorkside so I canceled my pre-order and ordered this. Then when I went to review it, I was like, why does he look different? <laughs> so yeah, but I'm glad I did that because actually looking back at the pictures, I don't like the sleeve version as much. This is Sergeant Slaughter I know from the cartoon in a tank top, ready to beat some maggots down. So his harness that you take off, it opens right here on the side, but the button is hidden behind this compartment right here. It took me forever to find it. I was like, how am I gonna get this thing off? So well done on their part. It was hard to find, but I'm glad because number one, it's sturdy and secure. Number two, it's hidden. So it's really good for the, it's really good for putting them on the shelf and posing for pictures. So there you go. Put it right back on, line that up, and you push it in and look at that. And I have it on backwards. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So we'll pretend that didn't happen. Turn to the side, then I'll say, you just put this here and line it up with the hole, snap it, and there it is. It's like I'm not dumb at all. And then see, it's so well hidden. That is dope. First impressions. Man, this thing feels good out the box. His joints are super tight, but not like frustrating tight, where you're like, oh, I gotta go put this under some hot water. It's just stiff. You gotta put a little muscle in to move everything, but it holds and it works. It just feels like quality. Man, I'm really digging this so far. And he's got butterfly joints, pinless joints on the elbow, pinless joints on the legs. This is a non-import action figure dream. He just feels so good. Feels just as good as G.I. Joe Classified, maybe even a little bit better. And since Hasbro hasn't put out any Army Builder Joes yet, they're only doing Cobra, you could buy a few of these Valverse figures. You could definitely buy a few of these Valverse figures and use them as your Joes. Whew. Loving this. All right, close up look. He's got Slaughter's face. Paint job is great. I don't see any blemishes whatsoever. Going down the pants. Legs are nice and sturdy. This is just fantastic. So how's that articulation? 360 on the head. Tilt left. Tilt right. Looking down. Looking way up. Arms lift up parallel to the shoulders. Standard military hug range. He's going to the brig if he gets too close to you. I thought wig span would go a little further back with those butterfly joints, but it does not. Let's take it for a spin. Full 360 at the shoulder. 360 at the bicep, not at the forearm, 360 at the wrist. You have horizontal and vertical hinges depending on which hand you pick. The range on the vertical hinges, not that good. He's not really pointing up too much. Kissing the ring looks good. Pointing at the ground, not too low. So you don't get as much range out of the vertical hinges. Great range out those pinless elbow joints. 360 at the waist. Where we get up here at the ooh, get 360 up there at that abdominal rocker. 
He does rock at the waist and the abdominal joint, but the abdominal joint kind of bucks up against his vest and hinders it a little bit. So he does lean with it. He does rock with it. And he can roll around. Limbo ready. That ab munchy crunchy. No drop hips. Thought he would have them, but he does. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, he does have drop hips. They're just really stiff. See, I was able to. Or well, can you see it? I was able to get this leg lower than the other one. See that gap there? Bend over range. Sick. Don't look at me. I'm exposed. Spinning bird kick. Weekend job ready. Banana split is insane. You got that fresh 360 at the thigh. Oop, yeah. At the calf. And, oh. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, I was about to say. That is so well hidden, you can't even tell there's a seam there. I thought the feet didn't move for a second. So you get a, well, it looks like a 360, but the heels kind Oh, I guess if I pull it that way, yeah, there you go. So you can get a full 360 out of that. My feet got mangled in an explosion. Can't walk. Double jointed pinless knees give you all the glory. He touches butt. Nope, not quite. Prancer. Dancer. All right, so let's answer the question on everybody's mind. How does this guy scale? He clocks in at right about six inches. I think he's got two millimeters up on it. Yeah, I'd say two millimeters. But a ruler means nothing. How does he scale with the Joes? Oh yeah, there he is next to the Cobra Infantry Soldier. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, and I saw this before but didn't mention it. He has a holster right here for that big honking Magnum pistol. See? There he is on his stand. So what do I think? Darn near perfect. This is an excellent action figure. You're getting articulation that I asked for in every figure at this price point. Depending on where you order it, it's between $31 and $33. And yeah, that's a bit, well, I was gonna say it's above the $20 price point, but now, especially with Hasbro, the figures are going up around 25. So for seven, eight bucks more, you're getting everything you should be getting. I complain a lot of times with Hasbro that they don't have pinless joints. They use them at the top, but not at the bottom. This guy has pinless elbows, pinless knees. His head tilts left and right, up and down. He's got an abdominal joint and a waist joint. You can get the swivel, you can get the rock. He's got thigh rotation, calf rotation, foot rockers, 360 on the feet. It's everything you would ask for. And one of the big problems I have with Hasbro is they have all of these articulation points, but they don't use them all in their figures. They pick and choose. And I know it's a cost cutting measure, but man, you got them, just use them. The molds are made. So what do I say? Even if you're not into this whole line, if you're into GI Joe classified, pick him up and add him. He'll fit perfectly. And this is one of the best non-import action figures that I've ever reviewed. It's just fantastic. The joints are tight, but not too tight. Everything fits well. You pop out the hands, put in the replacement hands. They fit correctly. They're not loosey-goosey. He's great. He comes with a lot of accessories. Some I'm not gonna use, but at least the choice is there. You can use them for custom fodder if you want. All that extra stuff. So like I said, I love this thing. I recommend getting it. I would recommend this one over version one, but that's just my preference. I prefer the sleeveless version to the version with the sleeves. If you can afford both, go for it. <laughs> but anyway, all right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Comments really help YouTube pick up on the channel. We're small but growing. Thanks for all the support. Make sure to hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe, turn on notifications. Share this link with a friend that likes G.I. Joe Classified or action figures in general. Till next time, geek out. Hey, I said in general, I should have said in sergeant. Get it? <laughs>